It's been a few months since the first day I started my journey of change. From that moment, my life seemed to have turned to a new page. Those were the happiest days of my boring life, in the morning being with the person I secretly love, and in the evening when I could relax myself and become a completely different person. At first, I only changed when I got home, but later I became bolder. The days I have to work overtime have reduced the number of hours I can transform into a spoiled girl. Therefore, I decided to bring women's clothes to act at the company. But perhaps now, that beautiful life is in danger of becoming gloomier than ever. Back to the present time, when I am in the company's office to complete the preparations for the president's speech tomorrow. I'm currently wearing black lace lingerie set, thin pantyhose, a thin long sleeve black t-shirt, and a short pleated skirt in black and white with red trim. And of course, with all these clothes on, I can't come up with some stupid excuse like wet clothes having to be worn temporarily or something like that. Is there anyone wearing temporary clothes but playing a full set of spoiled secretary like this? How unfortunate. I've done this countless times at the company, all went well. Maybe that's why I was so careless. Just the moment the door opened, my head went through thousands of different options to defend and justify my current behavior. But all the options and reasons I can think of are all about one result, this life have done. Working with the beautiful female president for a long time, I know she is a very easygoing person with employees in the company but is always serious in all situations. My current situation seems to have escaped the category of easygoing with employees in the company. Leaving the company is a small matter, the most dangerous thing is that the image I have built for so long will be destroyed immediately. Life in the future will be a series of more bleak days than before, perhaps you will not want to contact or accept a problematic guy like me into the company, right? The office door opened, and the president came in and saw me. She stood dumbfounded for a moment, still holding the doorknob. The word fear appeared on my face. Then, her taut face suddenly relaxed. She burst out laughing, laughing so hard that tears ran down her beautiful lashes. What situation is this? So what is this? A series of questions ran through my mind, all for the purpose of deducing the next situation, but there were no satisfactory answers. But time did not make me wait long, after a good laugh, she turned to me and asked. What are you doing? Is it my birthday today? Why did you prepare this surprise game? She asked, but her mouth was still smiling, it seems that the smile has not stopped completely. Actually. I stammered for a reason but could not figure it out. I had to change to another topic. But don't you find me disgusting or strange, sis? Don't ask why we are called like that. I don't know, too. What is disgusting? Who would ever criticize a pretty girl? It is an indecent act that I strongly condemn. She replied. After hearing her words, it seems that I have escaped this time. Indeed, I did not expect the story to turn out in such a direction. Fortunately, my lovely president is such a sympathetic woman. But being discovered once, then a second time, then a third time, by that time I didn't think I would ever be able to escape a situation of going underground again. Moreover, I also don't want to hide the president anymore, or rather, I don't want to keep it a secret from the person I love. But of course, deep down inside, I still hope that after hearing my story, she will accept me for who I am and continue to let me stand by her side as the assistant president. Actually, this is my hobby, sis. I don't know if I should call it a hobby or not, because from the moment I started trying it, it made such a deep impression on me that I knew I couldn't give up dressing the woman's clothes. My life was a series of tasteless days until I met you. It was you who helped me release the feeling of rigidity when I had to show my fake perfect face to everyone. I admire you so much, so much so that for a long time, I have one-sided love for you. Right at the beginning, when I went shopping with you for the company, I just accidentally came up with the idea to be like you when we happened to pass by the women's fashion store. But gradually, I could no longer escape this life. Please accept me for who I am and allow me to be with you, to be your assistant. If that doesn't work, I have only one plea, please keep this a secret for me. The president silently listened to everything I said without interrupting once. Her face also showed no emotion which made me extremely worried. 
When I finished speaking, the president remained silent for about two seconds. Then she smiled and said, This is the first time I have had the opportunity to listen to your candid confessions. You are an excellent employee and assistant, which I can't deny even if I wanted to. But I don't need a machine. Honestly, I like this change of yours. As for the words you want to say to me today, I would like to answer in three points. Firstly, I don't care if this is your hobby or not. I stepped up to where I am today from the very bottom, so I know how to respect everyone whoever they are in this society, not to mention the person I trust the most in this company. Secondly, I am well aware that you have difficult things to say behind everyone's back. You always put on an insincere face in front of everyone, but to me, all your thoughts seem to show on your face. By the time you were dumbfounded by women's fashion store, I could have guessed it. The president replied in a single tone, I was deeply moved by her sympathy. After a moment of relaxation, I asked her. So what's the last thing? Finally, I think you're wrong about one thing, that's you don't love one-sidedly. From the first time I met you, a poor guy who was forced by life, I secretly thought that I would help this person with everything I had. Nor can I say I loved you at first sight, because at that time I merely wanted to help you. But after a lot of time interacting and working with you, I realized that you are an indispensable piece in my life. And you know my philosophy of life, my life is decided by me. I decided, when he officially changed is the time I confessed my love to you. But unexpectedly, I didn't say it, the other side expressed it first. She replied. What? What did I just hear? Am I dreaming? Someone come slap me hard and tell me it's not a dream. I quickly said. Are you telling the truth, sis? Just a few minutes ago, I thought it was my destiny to overhear, but I didn't expect everything to turn out like a dream. It's not a dream. Why do you still call me sis, a stiff guy like you doesn't even know how to address a couple? The president made an angry face. My heart could no longer keep a steady beat. I rushed to hug her and said. No, I love you so much. You are no longer a glimmer of light in my life. You are the sun of my life. Haha, <laughs> isn't that gross? Love is love, but work is still work. In the morning, be my perfect assistant, but by night you'll be my lady secretary, mine alone, and needless to be spoiled. She continued. That night and until later, I learned the true meaning of life. So I'm here to tell you one thing, it's your life, you decide.